second tick I found on my dog. We're going to fix this in a hurry. So like you saw, we found two ticks on Koba, which spring is finally here. Everything's awakening, and so, so are the bugs. And usually we don't have a tick or flea problem. In fact, we've never had a flea problem, but the fact that she has two had two ticks on her was uh, concerning. So we're going to show you how we naturally kill and repel fleas, ticks, and all sorts of other um, parasites and insects here in our homestead. Stay tuned. Now the first way we're going to do is by diet. So we're going to incorporate some coconut oil because it has lauric acid, which has been known and is proven to repel and kill fleas and ticks. So we're going to do one tablespoon of that, and we're also going to do one tablespoon of garlic because, again, that has been proven to repel fleas and ticks. And so we're going to incorporate that in her meal. So here's Kova's breakfast. She gets four cups of blue buffalo salmon dog food and five boiled eggs. Usually we feed her raw, but since we haven't been able to hold on to any livestock, including rabbits, we've been consistently selling out. This poor girl hasn't had a rabbit in quite a few months. <laughs> you talking to me, mamas? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one tablespoon, like we said, of coconut oil. She's also gonna get one tablespoon of fresh garlic. So a couple things to note, a lot of people say no garlic. Now, according to all the science I've read, about 15 grams of garlic per kilogram is getting to the borderline of the too much garlic. She's a 150 pound English bull mastiff. One tablespoon of garlic <laughs> per meal is gonna do absolutely nothing. And the garlic has a lot of great, great effects like we said earlier. Once the garlic's in the system, it's going to come out of the sweat glands. Now, it's, we be, need to be honest, dogs don't sweat the same way people do. Um, their skin is different, the pH level of their skin is different, and how they, you know, sweat and how they release all that, that heat through their coat is gonna be a lot different than the way our skin releases heat. So it's important to realize that they're not gonna do it the same way we do. But with that being said, they are still going to have the garlic that's going to leave through the skin, um, by the skin, through through the coat. So. It's important to note that it's not going to be the same as a person, but the effects are going to be the same. They're just not going to be as rapid or as quick as we as humans. So keep that in mind to people that say that garlic doesn't work because the skin pH of the dog is different. You're correct, but that's the route in which the garlic will leave. So yes, it will work. The next thing to note is the coconut oil is in solid form. Coconut dissolves into a liquid base at around 75 degrees. Fahrenheit. So it's not going to take a whole lot. We're going to go outside, put this in the sunlight real quick, and it should melt down pretty quick. So there you have it. Part one of our natural parasite repellent slash killer is on the way. We do it, like I said, through the diet. Come here, Cove. There you go, mamas. And there Cove goes. And just like that. Three and a half minutes, four minutes. It's all gone, isn't it, mamas? Good girl. She's a monster. That's meal one. So for Kova's evening meal, she gets four cups of salmon, blue buffalo. She gets about two cups of elk, ground elk, highest quality stuff you can get, straight off the, straight from the wilderness. And then we have the coconut oil right here and another tablespoon of garlic. So we're just gonna mix this up for her. So this is Kova's evening meal. Kova, lay down. Lay down. Stay. Okay, go ahead. Good girl. And I assure you, she'll make very quick work of this. She's making all sorts of noises and she's really enjoying herself. So we're gonna, we're gonna let her keep eating. Good job, mamas. 
So now you know how we feed her in order to kill and repel ticks, fleas, and other parasites. Let me show you what we do topically in order to do the same. Remember, we're doing this 100% organically, 100% naturally. We're not doing any of the medicines. We're not doing any of the pesticides or besides fungicides. None of the bullshit. This shit fucking works. That's why I'm sharing it with you today. So now for topical remedies, okay? We have essential oils here. We have the, the, the doTERRA brand. Don't read too much into it. They produce essential oils of the oil that we're looking for. So that's about as uh, far as that goes, as far as brands. But this is a really good one for fleas and ticks because it has the wild orange peel, which is a citrus blend. It has the clove bud and then it has the eucalyptus leaf. This is really good for repelling fleas and ticks. And then we're going to combine it with a peppermint, which is all by itself good for repelling fleas and ticks. And the reason why we're combining the two is because this has a really good scent that goes with it, first and foremost. So you can actually spray this on almost as a, like a deodorizer for your dog. So it helps them smell good and it will repel the fleas and ticks at the same time. So we'll show you how we're gonna put this on her coat. So in order to put this on COVID topically, we have to do this crazy science project. No, I'm joking. So we have our spray bottle here that's the 16 ounce bottle that's filled a little more than halfway just with plain water and then we have our essential oils here so what we're going to do is we're going to take three drops of our protective blend which as you guys know has the eucalyptus clove and wild orange peel in it the citrus blend and then we're going to take two drops of the peppermint and we're going to put it into our spray bottle Added an extra drop or so, but that's not a big deal. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna put our cap on, and we're gonna give it a good shake. Now all we're gonna do is top it off. And just like that, we have a very effective and super cheap flea and tick repellent that we made here at home. Accompany that with a great diet and there's nothing that we can't accomplish. You ready, Cove? Go ahead and sit for me. Or be lazy. Sit. Good girl, mamas. All we're gonna do is just spray it directly on her coat, just like that. And then I'll just rub my hands in there like that. Give her some good rubs, she loves that. Just make sure it's in her coat really well. You smell great, Cove. She does smell good now. Cove, are you ready to go play now? Go play. Go play. Go get him. Good girl. Go get him. <laughs> yeah. Go out and play. Go play. Good girl. So now she can go play on our large homestead. As you can see, we have a lot of wooded area all around us. So yeah, there are tons of fleas and ticks out here. I guarantee it. But now I can let her know and let her play knowing that there's nothing to worry about because she's 100% protected. And the best thing about this treatment is I know I'm not hurting her, right? I can't say that about an over-the-counter pesticide or herbicide or flea and tick spray. There's no way that I would touch a flea and tick spray, spray it directly on my animal and touch it with my hands. There's no way I would do that. And I wouldn't recommend anybody else do that. There's a reason why they say, you know, if you're going to use this, use gloves, handle with gloves. And you're spraying that on your dog. You know, so for me, it really just comes down to a scientific and science-based common sense approach, right? If I don't have to use chemicals, if I don't have to use pesticide, if I don't have to use herbicides, if I don't have to use literal poison on my animals or on myself, I'm not going to do it. Another great thing is all these remedies are tried and proven. I know as soon as we found the two ticks on Cove, we checked ourselves and we didn't find anything. I've never had a problem with any kind of lice, fleas, ticks, anything like that, even when I have been in the woods. And we, you know, we literally live in the woods. So we never had those issues. But then again, me and my wife, we eat garlic daily, right? We have coconut oil regularly. So our diet makes no surprise to me why 
they leave us alone. So now that it's the spring and summertime, you know, we're gonna start incorporating that in Cove's diet. And since we've done it, after that one day, we haven't found any more on her. And like I said, she literally runs this property. So we know that it works. It's scientifically proven to work. We'll have all the notes. I'll have all the citations in the description box below for you to take a look at. So if you guys are currently dealing with flea and tick issues and you're apprehensive about using some kind of commercial product, poison, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, or just some rough chemical, some harsh chemical, trust me, I totally get it. I, I'm 100% with you. So I would say give a home remedy a try. What do you have to lose? You know, here at the Myrtlewood Homestead, we like to, internally to give our dogs garlic and coconut oil. Those are really easy to get. You can get them pretty much in any, any box store or any grocery store. And it's really easy to get and it's really easy to incorporate in our diet as you guys saw already. And then for something topical, we do like the essential oil blend. You know, the peppermint's great. So is the eucalyptus and the citrus clove blend. We use the On Guard because it has all three of those and also has some rosemary extract as well. But overall, these are what we use here in the homestead and we've had some awesome results with them. Overall, you can get this stuff pretty inexpensively, especially when you're comparing them to over-the-counter flea and tick medications that you get at your vet. You know, any major box store is gonna have your garlic and coconut oil. Now let's talk about essential oils, the big elephant in the room. We all know those people that sell essential oils that, you know, really peddle in the conspiracies of it. You know, I'm not here to make you any promises that's gonna fix your headaches or give you some kind of vitality, but here at the Myrtle Woods Homestead, we've had great success with it for preventing fleas, ticks, and other pests. So. For that purpose, we've we've had very good experiences with it, and I couldn't be happier with you know the, our results here. So I encourage you guys, give it a shot. I we like I said, we all know those people that sell it, so I'm sure they would be more than willing to let a few drops go for free, just to prove a point to you guys. So with that knowledge in mind, go out, do great things. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I look forward to interacting with you guys in the comment section. And as always, guys, long live the Republic.